is Freeloaders. I'm Mike Papa Foxtrot. And I'm 3T. Freeloaders is a regular look at what is or has been free to download from the PlayStation Network. We download the games and give them a play and see if they're worth the download, bandwidth and time. This time we're looking at Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition, a 2D Metroidvania action-adventure game which follows a nameless knight traversing an ancient plague-infested kingdom inhabited by various insects known as Hollow Nest. Along the way they fight bosses and unlock new abilities to progress as they uncover the mysteries of the kingdom. Released for Windows, Mac OS and Linux in 2017, and Nintendo Switch, PS4 and Xbox One in 2018, these are our first impressions. And uh, quite nice to be doing something a bit different. I think uh, I'm not sure if we've ever done a 2D platformer uh, so far, have we? No. I mean, uh, what are you actually expecting? I mean, what, what's given it away to me is the phrase 2D Metroidvania. But mm. other than that, well, um, yeah, but that what are you expecting? That's a very wide-ranging uh, description nowadays, isn't it? Essentially, something... Something along the lines of Metroid would be nice, uh, or but I think I, because of the word knight, I can't get away from Shovel Knight in my head. I'm thinking it's just making me think of Shovel Knight. So but I don't think it's as sort of retro as that. It, obviously, this is quite a nice artsy uh, title screen. I think the graphics are a little bit more uh, polished than. Uh, Actually, that's unfair on sh- on uh, Shovel Knight because obviously they're deliberately made to look <laughs> retro. But you know what I mean. I think it's going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more. Hmm flash and fancy but who knows you yeah uh, i i don't know that's the thing uh, i i mean the thing is i i'm i'm expecting to be able to solve puzzles and obviously there's going to be like boss battles at the end of level um which is fairly stock stuff um but i'm hoping it'll be like problem solving like you know so pushing things around and, and and i mean because that that's the sort of thing that that I like in in these these games. Uh, one thing I do have to point out: I'm glad that you said uh, Void Heart Edition because I'd forgotten that when I put it in the script. <laughs> and uh, apparently, that's what makes this difference because the Void Heart um, Edition contains four gigantic content packs uh, yeah. that were built in at launch, expanding the game with all new quests, terrifying boss fights, and striking new abilities. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, boss fights, I don't know. I mean, the problem I find with boss fights is that um, I tend I tend to find them quite frustrating because I tend to go headlong into battle. Um, and in fact, uh, I think we've seen me do that. Uh, and I think you've done that as well on mm, previous games. Yeah. Um, so we shall see. I shall try and be a little bit more thinking. But I mean, yeah, um, I like the fact that as part of one of the bullet points that I saw, it does say you can forge your own path. Um, and that makes me think that there are more than one or there is more than one solution to um, to these to the problems and so maybe apart from the boss fights you can probably work around a lot of the naughty evil people trying or insect I, things trying to kill you i'm a bit i'm a bit concerned actually that uh because i used to be reasonably okay at 2d platformers and uh yeah i'm uh, i don't know i'm all thumbs now it's weird you get used to certain games and uh, you know i'm hoping it'll be d-pad controlled because that that, that is a, level, a certain level of comfort in a 2d platformer if it's just the d-pad if it's the if it's the stick, I'm not sure if that'll work for me, but we'll soon find out, I guess. Uh, I've just gone to the controller settings um, and yeah, uh, just just to uh, move. Just you can do either. Of, <laughs> yeah, happy with that. Good. Uh, inventory. Inventory is the big, the big pointless button on the controller that does nothing most of the time. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, super dash and quick map. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Dash. Super Dash and Dash, fascinating. Quick cast, okay. So cast, so there's obviously magic in here. Focus cast, dream God nail. God knows what a dream attack. nail is, but I guess we'll find that out. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, let's uh, vibration on. Yes, uh, I have, um, I didn't see anything for changing X and Y, so probably it doesn't matter. Then it's 2D, so it shouldn't matter. Exactly. Um, I have adjusted my audio prior to us beginning recording. I turned the music off. I don't think 3T has. Uh, and I turned down the sound effects because I thought they were a bit loud because I'm an old man. <laughs> and that's all I've done. <laughs> I haven't so I that, am so. now hovering over Game. I am going to press game. Are you coming with me? Let's go for it. Start game now. New game. And, uh, English language is English. Um, 
and uh, back of credits. I have no idea. Am I oh. in the wrong option? I am I in the wrong because, because now ah, I just yes. a new game. Now <laughs> I am. Yes, new game. <laughs> so there you go. That's fun. Not sinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We've, we've got we've got a couple of sink points. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. It's all right. It doesn't matter. It's always funny when somebody goes down the wrong corridor. Um, and basically, we have to sit and watch our uh, text. For I a bit. pressed. It, I pressed a button, and it said, "Press any button to skip." And I seem to have skipped but I've still got a bit of an animation happening so oh well I'll leave it going um, and then people can read mine while you jump ahead yeah um, hello oh, I wish I'd turned the volume attention. down on some of these sound effects <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always automatically I take that 20% off of any noise um <laughs> And I just turned the music off just because it was very nice, but I didn't want it to be distracting. No. I think it's, it's reasonably uh, mild, light piano at the moment, at least. So. Mm. Well, I mean, it is bigged up in the, uh, in the game. Um, it is, um, they do talk about it. They do say that um, uh, an epic orchestral score with over 40 tracks... So, again, it's bigged up in the game features. Yeah, well, fair enough. I mean, be proud of what you can Unfortunately, actually. this this player just turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> How unappreciative you are. I The same, though, in, like, uh, a lot of games. I mean, in Grand Theft Auto, and off. I <laughs> don't want the radio off. <laughs> don't want any of that off. So yeah, Depends what I'm doing. Right, so I've you're probably a little bit behind because you haven't been as impatient as I have, so I've just landed. No, I'm just letting it play because that's the thing I've, I've just uh, landed somewhere and, and there's a black screen and um, oh, I'm hitting things and I've landed with a bump Oops. lovely vibration on the controller take two hits <coughs> oh you can jump oh. and showing myself up as being terrible at landing on platforms oh my god and I've just oh. been taking a big whack from something on the ground like an armadillo Really, sometimes wish I wasn't recording. Wish they weren't. You know, it'd be nice if we could cheat this, and it wasn't our first impression. So we could have a little practice and be like, "Way, look at me go!" But unfortunately, I am. I don't get how the dash works. Maybe I haven't been shown it yet. What was the? What button it was, was one dash? Of the It was one of the shoulder buttons, but none of them are working. Oh, options is inventory. Inventory work. Hold circle to focus. Ooh. Oh, okay. we're going to be taught. I'm just, ch I'm just, uh, I'm just running backwards and forwards. I've got four, sc five skulls in the top corner, which probably is my life. Yeah, I'm down to three because I'm rubbish. How do I get in? Do I have to dash or oh, attack? Yeah, Read, the screen, Read the screen prompts. Read the screen prompts. Oh, and I'm taking a lot of hits. Oh, I see. So right, that's the focus thing. Seems to be a heal, maybe. Maybe I just. Maybe I wrecked it. Oh, I just attacked the armadillo -y thing. Yeah, no, I was. Uh, there was one that appeared out of nowhere when I uh, wasn't looking. Oh, is that good? There's some background stuff that you wouldn't think would be No, there is, is parallaxing going on, which is quite nice. Is that big jump? Ah! <coughs> took me ages to get up there. <laughs> That's reasonable. Oh, I guess you just fell on an armadillo. Yeah. No, they're everywhere. Now gonna go and kill him. Whoa. Okay. That's that. Oh, what's this? Oh, lots of brain things. Hmm. Don't know what they are, but I want them. Can I go off the side that side? No. Okay. Now let's try and not fall off these platforms this time. Yeah. Just basically keep. I am. I, I. I. I noticed that I am actually using the analog. Maybe I should switch to the D-pad. Oh yeah, that's much better. I do in a two D uh, <laughs> environment. I find the D-pad much more useful. I'm just going to keep he hitting says, it, falling Jeez. all the way back to the ground again. <laughs> oh, I I'm just trying to work out how much movement you actually have in the air. It's quite a nice little thing. I know it's not huge, but like pressing up, Ooh. he looks up. And pressing down, he just looks down. It's a very subtle little movement of the head, but I don't know why that amused me. 
Okay, so I have come to um, a precipice and I think essentially I'm going to do a YOLO jump and see if there's anything out there. Well, I'm inspecting a big mirror thing and it says hold zero to, uh, or circle to. Hold, what's this? Good news Can is you... that we appear to have Mario style invulnerability to falling damage, so I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> Don't worry what about does... jumping off stuff. Hire these words, you great achievement. Collect souls by striking the enemies. Once a soul is collected, holds it. Oh, not now. Oh, okay, sorry. No. Read the message. <laughs> oh, there's a great big mosquito y thing. Oh, oh it's a bird. Yeah. Probably best not swipe at too many things. This appears to be a friendly town. Okay, I've lost a I've lost a life. My um my main concern at this point is there's not gonna be that much really to this Whoa, I've fallen off. To the <laughs> that's a good timing. There's not gonna be that much to this first part because essentially it's just us having a little wander around, so uh, Yeah. But that's that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Just there might not be that much to describe other than, oh, I've hit a thing, or <laughs> I'm yeah. jumping. Well, I mean, that's it. Just learning learning the controls, really. Yeah. So now, do I go that way, or do I go back the way I came? Let's go this way. It's oh, smooth. dear. The ground just fell out from underneath me. I will say, you know, it does feel smooth. It handles quite well. There's no, like, um, there's no noticeable sort of lag, input lag or anything. You know, your jumping is... He's yeah, I uh, I've just found a load of spikes yeah, that just killed me. Oh, and I just <laughs> fell off the bloody platform again. I'm probably going to be the first to die. I will be honest. I'm down to two lives. Uh, I don't think it matters too much. If you do the focus thing, you should heal back up. Oh, really? Yeah, that hold circle and watch him charge up like a, like he's in Dragon Ball Z. I, I probably used all my power because that doesn't work. I've used oh, it, it costs already. you those little. Uh, God knows what they are, like the, the weird berry. Oh, the little the little raspberry, yeah. the little grey raspberry things. Yeah, I'm glad we both thought berries, that's good. I don't feel quite so bad. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> okay, so that, I can go under there, that's nice. So I found a way back. There's a lot of I'm things. just destroying everything I Yeah, touch. I was going to say, part of the background is that a lot of the things that, that you, would, you would just walk past, but if you just keep swiping, a surprising number of things will just break. <laughs> This guy looks sad, but he wants to hurt me. Ah, I was going to be his friend. There you go. Never trust anybody. That's a life lesson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't quite know what that does, but never mind. We appear to be like I just insect size or something. Are we? Is that, is that well, we are in an insect nest. Of I'm course, just punching yeah. a door at the moment. but Oh, I just destroyed a massive door. <laughs> and I'm now coming out the other side onto what looks like a broken... What looks like a very, very broken um, a viaduct. <laughs> so I have two lives remaining. I'm just going to jump off. Yeah, you should be fine. You don't wah, you don't yeah. take a lot of damage from falling. Oh, you've already been here. You're already miles ahead of me. That's nice to know. Yes, yeah, I, I skipped, unfortunately, didn't I? So I'm fair. <gasps> oh, I, I'm cutting grass. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, lots of things will just break as you as you swipe at them. Oh, yeah, I went to destroy the lamppost. Wow, oh. okay, he's not friendly. <laughs> First death of the game at what? Uh, let's say what? Three minutes in? Four minutes in? Maybe. But I rested Dirt at the bench. Dirt mouth, the fading town. Uh, here's a here's a hint. Do the resting on the bench thing because that is a checkpoint. <laughs> oh, is it? Because I just spawned I've there again. <laughs> I've got a guy who uh, who is standing in front of me, which I probably probably should kill. No, no, he's friendly. You reckon? Yeah, the one by you the just told me. Really. You just told me, trust no one. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Oh, listen, yeah. interact. You can't, I mean, I think it appears you can't really stab somebody who's uh, not meant to be stabbed, or, uh, I think, or whatever we're using. Is it a sword? You can't really see. He just whips it out so quick. Yes, it is a sword. Yeah, it's sort of very... Cut in the grass all the way through town. So resting on the bench. Okay, I see what you mean. I've just got all my lives back as well, which is nice. Yeah, a little checkpoint rest system. 
but uh, I needed it. I uh, I died very quickly. <laughs> so, not friendly, not friendly, not friendly. Spiky head man. Okay, so the shop the shop is closed. But it'll be opening soon, so that's nice. I wonder if because oh. you see you know when those like um, stalactites fall down. I whacked one in midair and it flew off at an angle. I wonder if they if it's sort of interactive. If you could do damage to well, somebody with them. So far, I've managed to avoid them. So, yeah. oh, hello. I'm just destroying everything now because I am literally uh, a bully vandal. That's what I'm going to be. I'm just going to destroy everything. Like that wasn't here before. Oh, maybe that was my ghost from when I got killed. <laughs> oh. A bit weird. That's quite a clever system. This big insect chunky boy is coming at me. I got a sword as well, but he's got a bigger sword. Ah! Yeah, I don't really want to go this way, I don't think. Oh, I don't know where I'm just weaving around, um, cutting grass. <laughs> oh, um, if you leave a leave a level and come back, everything spawns behind you, so you have to fight your way back again. Right. Oh, I think you've just got to be going to dodge it, which I'm not. Oh. I don't like that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm rubbish. I haven't met a boss yet, so I'm... Um... <sighs> I'm finding that I, instead of thinking I'll just go a different way, I'm just working my way back to that same guy. And it might be that he's just too powerful to beat at this stage, but I'm still I'm going to have another guy. A sword or something just fell out of the sky, but I don't know how to pick it up. Uh, that might be like one of the stalactites, is it? Really just looks... No, it's a really nice sword. It, it came out of a... I killed a thingy and it came out of the thing. I mean... Oh, inventory. Can I add it to my inventory? Oh, yeah. What was inventory? The middle button? Yeah. I'm using apparently an old nail. The weapon is ah. a blade. It's blunt and... It's there in the inventory. Go, Hold sense, focus yeah. for soul collection. Look. Press... I'm now playing with my inventory. Nobody's dropped any weapons for me. Can I have that? Is that a weapon? No. Can't I think I'm wasting that when I use that. I should probably. Okay, can't pick it up. Can't pick it up yet, so never mind. Let's just go cut the grass and go this way. Um, right. What are you? You look like a big thing to kill. Let's kill you. Gonna have a look at this guy and see if there's anything around that I might be able to use, or if I can jump past him. And if not, I'm gonna go and explore somewhere else. This appears to I be just like killed a my ghost. Big, just killed a big thing. <laughs> I did a murder. <laughs> <laughs> right. See, if I, I hold that, that gives me my life back. I can oh, jump yeah, over him. Really, what a nice oh, little mechanic. No, you can't jump over him. He's quite fast. <laughs> Ascend and descend. Okay, so I can ascend. Okay, now he cost me a life just a minute ago. Can I kill him on the diagonal? Only twice. Shame on whoever it's appropriate to have shame on. Three times. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't want to get that wrong. I didn't want to do a whole George W. Bush thing. Uh, so no. <laughs> Concentrating. What I what I like is that so much is destructive. I'm just going to go over here and then I'm going up. Um, yeah, uh, I mean this is basically a nice, simple, easy-going mechanic. Um, I mean, obviously I haven't met anyone really horrific yet, okay, um, you like do. you. But <laughs> but somebody's having a little sing while they're mining down here, so I'm assuming they're a friend. I'm going to listen to them. Oh well, his cheery song says, "Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight." Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. You're a, oh, you're a riot great. at parties, I'm sure, Mr. Insect. I just entered the temple of something or other. And I'm now talking to another insect. I've gone a completely different way from you, haven't I? I think so. It does branch off in lots of different ways, which is nice. Yeah. I'm just Bosses being told appear to be semi-optional. Eggs. I like that, because I don't really like just going out for, for battle. Okay, so actually, this has come to the end. So that was just an information path then. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go back out. Oh. Right, I'm 
I'm starting to sense. I can see now. I can I can actually tell when floor is going to go out from under me. So if I hop off that, I should be able to get over. There's nothing here anyway, so let's let it collapse. Oh, well, I'm wrong. Oh, I lost a life fighting him. Not happy with that. <laughs> I'm thinking this is a puzzle. I've got to try and make this ground disappear. Uh, I just met something with a horn um, that just chased after me and was did it a lot of damage. The to same me. size as you? Yeah, about oh, right. a little keep, bit. Keep going, bit right? Bigger. There's one that's massively bigger uh, coming up at some point. I just want to have an yeah. explore, really. I, I don't know how much longer we'll, we'll really do a part one of this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just you. a case of uh, I'm hoping to meet something bigger than me. Uh, yeah. Then, the, then the, that, the that top be that. Path. If you, if you, if you're heading. Oh, I just met something bigger than me. Yeah, I mean, a I club, just. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know really. He, he looks like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. But he's he's carrying a great big. Uh, yeah, like he's yeah. carrying a great big club. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm just running away. Yeah. <laughs> he's very strong. Yeah. Right. Um. Hmm. Okay, I've got all my lives, so theoretically, if I get a couple of knocks Ooh. in, I might be able to take him. You can, you can direction. I didn't realise you could swipe up with your sword. If you hold up, you can do upward swipes. That's brilliant. I'm so easily pleased. <laughs> that really helps when those flying Ooh. things come. He's got. I've just died. He's got a really horrible weapon that yep. he uses. Where he bounces he along has. and a and a sound wave followed me along yep. the ground. Not ah. much fun that is it? <laughs> no, but fun. Let's go get him again. I'm gonna have him. <laughs> I tried. I tried twice, and then third time I tried. I saw. I tried to see if I could jump over him, and I turned out I couldn't, so I gave up. Yeah, I'm gonna have him. He's gonna be mine. I'm put him on the list. He's well, on the list good. now. If you can, if you can get him this time, I say that we'll call that the end of part one. How about that? Well, or if I die, how about or that? Or that, but yeah, you've got to be able to jump away from him. Uh, I think I think it is just just swipe and run, swipe and run, and you have to really jump out of his reach. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just just playing with my button configurations just to sort of. I don't know I why. Assume I'm going the right way. Why I would think that my uh, <laughs> my advice is worth anything when I didn't beat him. Ah, oh, I've just been killed by oh, something else. I'm back on the bench again. All right. Well, I got to get. I've got to get to him first. So. Yeah, well, I'll. Oh, I've fallen down there. I keep forgetting that. And um, I'll try and get back to him as well then. Maybe we'll both have a go. Oh, I might not even get there based on the terrible way I'm fighting everything else. Well, I've lost. I've lost some lives. Right. So let's just rebuild. Let's just Dragon rebuild my lives. Yeah, I got killed do doing that. I kind of like, I kind of recharged my recharged my energy, and that's why I stood still a little bit too long, and then a big energy wave kind of flew at me. Oop. I Ooh, like yeah, I see sword. what you mean. You can actually knock things forward into people. Yeah, I, that's what I was looking for to see if there was any interactive scenery that might be worth. Uh, why did I go it, this way or did I go that way? I go this. Way. Oh, I've just found a ghost. I found something that's else. You. Oh, that's you. That's your ghost. That's the ghost oh, of you. Whack it, and then it will come back into you for a bit of energy or something. Fills up your energy. Oh, or it takes energy away from you. Oh, oh yeah, but you've, you've still got to beat it. You've got to defeat it in battle. That's, you're not not as easy oh, as right. as easy as all that. Oh, well, now I've only got four lives. That's annoying. I don't That's think it'll matter because he takes away like three when he hits you anyway. So you, you've got to be. It's more about being nimble than anything else, from what I can tell. But again, Jack, I'm not the expert. Nimble. I've been killed by him <laughs> three times nearly. Wow, I'm going back. I'm going back to get him. Here we go. I'm I just, think uh, I'm near him now. There's the table full of food. Oh, Run away! That, can you get anything? Way! Hey! Come on, mate! Whoa! Oh no! Don't kill oh, me! Oh well, I had a go. There's I'm a, a sad there's, orphan. There's, I killed him. No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> there's a la. No, I got killed. There's a lava or something on the other side, uh, which I was wondering about. Oh. I, uh, uh, ignoring him and just going straight for it. But I'm sitting on the bench. Oh. How about that? Is a place where we, uh, where we, um, 
Will we take a break for now? Yes. The sound wave <laughs> got me. I'm going back for more, but uh, not while we're recording. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and so I guess for you, it'll be a very short amount of time. But for us, we're going to... We're kind of going to try and beat this, uh, this great big insect guy. <laughs> we'll be back shortly. So we've put some time into playing Hollow Knight uh, Void Heart Edition. Um, so 3T, what about playability for you? Um, I alluded to it, I think, in part one. It's playable. It's uh, instinctive. You have good uh, input, I think, you know, you know, between pressing the button and the thing that happens on the screen. And didn't notice any sort of lag or anything. Yeah, it's fine. It's a it's a decent Metroid style platformer, uh, which is um, uh, does the job, I guess. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's playable. It's maybe not something I'm rushing to go back and play, but it's mm. fine. I, I I it's it's simple. <sighs> It depends what you're looking for in a platformer, really. It ticks all the boxes. It's, um... Yeah, I, again, I, I'm not something I will rush back to. Uh, it was fun while I was running around, but it's not something that, you know, is going to sit and, you know, be going, come and play Hollow Knight. No. Play me. Um, it won't, won't, be, won't be calling out. Uh, so, um, yeah, I found it a bit frustrating at times. Um... And very easy to get lost, and uh, the map uh, the map is basically useless. But um, <laughs> I mean, it, it is. Uh, I mean, you know, unless you are exploring new territory, it's pretty much useless to you because you don't know where you are. I think you said uh, you are here would be nice. Um, and then one of the things that that irritated me, but again, it, it's the nature of these kind of games, is that you clear a room. And then you accidentally fall off the side of the room, and then you go back into the room, and everyone's reset again. And it's it's a bit frustrating, uh, particularly if you're just trying to get somewhere to do something. But again, you know, but if a they lot of people would like that, that challenge, exactly. Yeah. If, they, if they didn't do that, it would just be an empty map and and very dull. So I suppose they have to do that to yeah. to maintain some. And that's the thing. And also, it's where you get your regenerating regeneration essence yeah. back and stuff like that. So I can understand its mechanic. Um, I, I don't know if once you've played it all the way, I've, I've not got to the end. I don't think I will. I know that sounds awful to say no, um, awful. because I'm just not getting the call. I'm not getting the call of the nest. Um, but I don't know. Once you've solved it, once you've probably solved it. Um, but then there might be different ways of doing it. Um, perhaps so. I don't really, I don't really know. Um, and I didn't really see any hidden catches when I was playing, apart from the fact the map is a little bit useless to you. But that's not. Um, but I mean, we're not. When we say hidden catches, I suppose we're saying: is there anything that is going to try and make you? Uh, is is going to catch you off guard, or is, 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 is it, what you see is what you get with it? Um, I don't think it, yeah. it's not. Well, you know, hidden 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 purchases. You know, yeah. where you get that may contain game purchases. I think the fact that you've got. Uh, all of the content packs in there um, right from the get go is probably a good sign and um, yeah if you like platformers and you like this kind of Metroid sort of style gaming and you enjoy solving puzzles it's probably for you um, so yeah I think probably you know there's there's some good value in there and I like I said I think that's more how I look at hidden catches. Yeah. Um when it comes to fun factor initially yeah and then it sort of gradually waned as uh, as I was playing. Um and uh yeah, it was fun while I was playing but I don't know if there's enough fun to bring me back for another session. What about you? It's not it's not fun fun. It's I think it's sort of I don't like so it sounds so like oh, I wish it was this, but I I, I don't like the t the tone's fine for a bit, but it's a bit 
Tim Burton kind of like, oh, look, everybody looks sad. And it's just, I'm sure, like, the music is beautiful and the art style is nice enough, but it's sort of, it, it's a bit of a mood hoover, isn't it? Like, uh, just suddenly, yeah. like, oh, God. And, yeah, it, it's fine. As I say, as a platformer, it, it's, you can, you could give it to maybe um, a, a, a younger child and they quite happily just go around exploring and hitting things with the sword mm-hmm. and I just it maybe doesn't have the it doesn't have the depth or the sort of uh, it's unfair because there is a storyline there and I'm just I just yeah there's, there's, stuff there's quite a lot of storyline there I mean and 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 it's a fairly forgiving it's fairly forgiving yeah. I mean you know you, you can heal and the mechanics are there I mean like I, I, initially I was worried about falling off of platforms to my death and then you were like oh no no it, you can do that and then there was th- I mean because that's the reason why it took me so long to actually find the map maker that <laughs> in fact was useless to me anyway he ripped me off for 30 raspberry things <laughs> um, <laughs> I forget well, what they were called he only but, charged uh, me 15 I didn't it was 30 but it's um, oh, <laughs> it's just what what it's fun for what it is but I do think that it's maybe a little bit basic um, which is not always mm. a bad thing I'm not you know doing it down it's fine it's polished but it's yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Really, it's sort of what you see. What you see <laughs> in part one is pretty much what you get. What you what you get. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and that that's the thing. I mean, it is it is a fairly simple simple game, and I like that. It's it's it's. It, and again, while I was playing it, was enjoying it. But uh, like I said, I don't know if it's got that replayability for me. I don't know if it's got that the, the call for me to come back to it. Mm. Um, I don't think it will be deleted immediately because it might call me back. But I've got other things that I need to do. I've got Vampire still on on, on the thing that I need to go. Hmm. I've got lots of things. I mean, this is the only trouble with doing this is that I I, I don't know how I don't know how I I don't know how people review games. (laughs) Um, It must be a full time job reviewing games because it takes so much time to play them and decide what you think and 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 like oh it's it's after I, after nearly know, we are sort of after nearly four reviewing years of doing games. a reviewing games series i don't mm. know how people review games <laughs> i don't know how they do it i really don't because you know if you have to review like i don't know like five six seven games a week i don't know how you do it because how do you find time to actually put enough time into playing them to justify what you say about them, which is always what 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 I feel when when I've played something and and I don't think I've put enough in and I I walked away too soon and and but like it it's yeah I don't know I mean it, what's it similar to well Metroid yeah. it says it, it's a Metroidvania game it's similar to like lots of little platformer but there's not a, there's not as much puzzle solving as I would have liked I would have preferred more puzzle so- solving maybe I'll find it as I get deeper into it I did unlock like a fast travel system, which is quite nice. I found three benches at least, so I found save points in there. So, I mean, there are... There are I think it's, it's not so things much... Things that hide your frustration. Yeah, not so much puzzles necessarily as, here's a door, it's got a keyhole, mm. you might want to go and find a key. Or, you know, like I found yeah. a great big caged area with something in that I clearly wanted and frustratingly mm. whacked the bars a few times and went, well, off I go then, better go and find whatever opens this. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's it's a Metroid style game. It's a Castlevania style yeah. game. It's a walk around, discover stuff, remember where that was because you're probably going to come back in a minute and get it again. Um, hmm. Fine, uh, does the job. It's okay. What is yeah. it not like? Uh, well, it's not Mario as a platformer <laughs> game. It's not any kind of. It's not a simple. You know, no, it's it's close. It's probably closer to Donkey Kong. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not. Um, it's it's not your sort of. It's it's an exploration game rather than a simple yeah. level by level platformer game, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's it's about ten gigs to download. Um, it downloaded, you know, within an hour for me. Um, I, I don't really know exactly how long it downloaded. I clicked download and then I went off to do something else, and it, it finished by the time I'd come back about five hours later. So not a big ask. Yeah. It is very... For that, for that 10 gigs, it is very smooth. It runs very nicely. It does its job. So I, I think for me, it, it, it's been worth the download. And it was nice to have a look at. Um, 
but like I said, I don't know how long it will stay with me. It's not going to get deleted immediately, but I don't know how long it's going to stay. It's worth it. I mean, I've had my fun. I've had my fun out of it. I've definitely had my money's worth out of trying something a bit different. It's just not something that I'm all that bothered about in the long run. But it's it's a fine game. It. Uh, yeah, it, it, like it promised me when I went to download it, it promised me it would take about seventy minutes, seventy-five minutes maybe. Mm. And I, like as I left it, I went to lunchtime. I started downloading, and it was done by later on. So, yeah, it doesn't take up much room. It's inoffensive. It's uh, yeah, it's playable. It's something you could pick up and just play. So, I'd say it's it's worth a look at least if you've got the space on your on your dashboard. I don't think I would have bought it though. Definitely not. I mean, that's no, the question no, no, no. we always go to. It's not something I would have purchased. And you? No, no, not at all. But then I don't play a lot of um, 2D platformers. So uh, yeah. I went back recently on the Switch, on the um, the Super Nintendo sort of emulator channel on it, and um, I, I thought, oh, I'll play a bit of play a bit of Super Metroid. I I suck at it. I used to have that on the Super Nintendo, mm. and I used to be pretty good at that. I can't use mm. I can't use the Switch controllers like that. Um, so actually, with a uh, a Pro controller or something, maybe. But yeah, it's just not my it's not my kind of game anymore. It was purely a nostalgia thing that I went back and tried that. I can just about play yeah. Mario games, but yeah, I, uh, no, I wouldn't. I, I have it. a I had a similar Metroid experience because I have it for the GameCube, and I was playing it on a Generation One Wii. Mm. Uh, last year and I struggled and and it wasn't the same mm. um, and even when I was using Wavebird controllers the actual like GameCube style controllers uh, it wasn't the same as I remember mm. <laughs> you know what I mean it makes makes you wonder if uh, perhaps we remember the past just a little <laughs> bit uh, <laughs> with uh, with rose coloured spectacles my fingers in their 40s are not as nimble as my fingers were in my teens stroke 20s and that is a sad thing um. and on that sad note <laughs> this is Mike Papa Fox <laughs> and this is Old Man 3T and we were looking at Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition which is currently freeloadable from the Playstation Network in November 2020 <laughs>